Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Um, I am Luther FM, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for everybody that watched the last couple of videos. Much appreciate it. Um, I started a new Twitch save yesterday with Barcelona. So um, that was well received on Twitch as well. So thank you for people following me on there. I stream live uh, most weekdays from 2 p.m. to about half four. So come along, search me on Twitch and uh, twitch.tv slash LutraFM. So yeah, so that's that. Um, just basically where you left us off last. We So let me just do a general recap, basically. So we started the, the save with Rafe Rovers. And in season one, it didn't go well at all. I only just kept the team in the division. Um, we were meant to be in the playoffs. I didn't achieve that. I It doesn't matter what tactic I use, we just couldn't get going. So I got sacked with literally one game to go. So I decided, what do I do? Do I end the series there? Or do I carry on? And I really was enjoying the save, even though I wasn't exactly winning. I was enjoying um, managing Rafe Rovers, uh, certain players I'd brought into the club, all that were already there, like Lewis Vaughan. i become attached to um, Dabrowski as well. So I was like, I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to retire the manager, and then I'm going to add a new manager with the same name and take over Rafe Rovers again. So... I've done that, and I had one game of the season, I think I drew. So now the hard work has been putting in so far, and I've been trying to shift out the rubbish players and the old players. Well, not the old players, the rubbish players, sorry. And then bringing in other players as well. Now, I've gone a bit crazy, and I've um, I've bought in a few old players, but I, I like... I like signing older players for some because they just because I know that I know I know their names and I I reminisce about watching them on TV and stuff. So if we go into the transfer history on here, um, and we'll just scroll down to actually we'll do outgoings first. So Matt Smith decided that he didn't want to carry on on loan for us, same as Bruno Rivero. So they've gone. I tried to sign Matt Smith. Um, and he didn't want to come to us. Um, Everaldo was homesick. Um, not homesick, sorry. He, he didn't like living in Scotland, basically. So we sold him to Amiens for just under 500 grand. And we got rid of a few of the players that were just not good enough, basically. And then if I go down here. So we signed Matt Ritchie, Bakary Sacco. Yannick Balassi, I'm at Matt Richards. I basically signed these because um, I was just like, sod it, why not? It was one of them. Um, we signed this player here called Edouard Lopez, who's looking like a, a good signing. Colombian player, you know what I'm like. I like South Americans playing in Scotland. I find it quite funny, to be honest. Um, you just wouldn't get many South Americans playing in Scotland. So, yeah. so um, And we've also signed the oldest player in the game. Uh, Kazuyoshi, no, how do you pronounce it? Kaz Yu Yuoshi Miura. The only reason I signed him was because he was literally the oldest player in the world. He's not going to play any games, I don't think, but he's a model professional, so hopefully he'll good, be a good mentor. Um, same with like Matt Ritchie and Matt Phillips and players like that. It's just to try and get some older players in there to be good mentors. We signed Charlie O'Connell who was on loan for all last season. We signed him from Peterborough. The re record signing for Rafe Rovers, 250 grand. We signed this player here called Ju uh, Juan Pablo Z Zulaga. We signed him. Um, another Colombian. We're getting a lot of Colombians, I've just realised that. And uh, we signed former Invincible, Gail Clichy. Again, mostly for mentoring purposes. And then a few players from Scottish Premiership teams had their contracts expired. So we signed Craig um, Sibold. Again, he's probably not going to play very often, uh, even though the squad status says he's an important player, but we'll see. Um, Jan Dehanda, former Liverpool youth player, I think. Yeah. Um, we signed him from Ross County on a free transfer. And then we also um, signed... 
think he's another. Oh no, he's a Paraguayan. Um, Paraguayan international player, Raymond Martinez, only twenty eight years old as well. So I think he'll be very good for us. And we signed Majed Osman as well. So that's another good player to have. Um, I'm hoping this that the Scottish league isn't that strict on squad registration. I don't think they are, or else I'm screwed. Um, we signed Max Deichy Deich. Um, Sean Dyche's son, we signed him after being on loan with us. And then these two players, Lucas Warner and Emil Hoyland, were already agreed loan deals that we did that come into the summer. Um, let me just double check if there isn't any future transfers. Um, transfer centre. I oh, know, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong section. Um, we've got this player here, Daniel Barden, coming in. Um, will be a good goalkeeper option for us. So that's that's about it, really. Um, I think I don't think there's anything else I need to um, tell you about Lewis Vaughan got player of the season for us and then Charlie O'Connell got the young player of the season for us as well um, we did manage to sign Lewis Vaughan to a new contract so he's here for the next two years at least that's good um, hopefully he can have another good season and uh, I think that's about it really we've got a few good little youth players coming through this player here particularly um, Gary Rao actually I think I might call him up to the senior squad um, for some reason Charlie O'Connell's in the under 18s but we'll promote him at some point we've had a lot of interest in this player from Hibs they keep off they kept uh, sending me offers but I kept rejecting them because they were rubbish so yeah so right so when we come back in a minute we're going to have uh, we're going to have pre-season done and we're going to start the first game of the season so just bear with me I'll be back soon thank you And we're back. Um, took me a while to do pre-season, but we finally got there. So um, let's just go through a few more transfers. We'll start with the outs. Um, hold on, we need to go back a season before, I think. Just to double check. Um, Callum Smith and Scott McGill were the ones that I didn't mention before. Um, actually, Scott, uh, Sam Stanton and Josh Millen as well. And then I don't know whether we signed anybody else. No. Oh, uh, this player here, Gaddy Kinder. So he come in for our, on a free transfer from Sporting Kansas City. So he looks like a good signer. Um, I forgot to say in the in the uh, the previous part of the episode that I got given an eleven million transfer budget because obviously the finances. In the Scottish League with this this file, I've got a uh, pretty good with the TV money, but I'm not going crazy. I'm mostly just signing free transfers because I'm going to try and keep it as realistic as possible. Um, but yeah, and then if we go here. So we got rid of a few. We got rid of this guy in the end who I didn't particularly want to get rid of, but he wanted to leave, and I got a good offer from Hibs, so they paid. 300k and we've got 30% profit on the next transfer um, this one's a sad one for me Kevin Dabrowski um, wanted to leave he, he wanted a new challenge um, and because I felt like just basically because he don't because he was such a good player last season I felt like uh, I, I didn't want to stand in his way so I let him go but I'm sad I'm very sad uh, Daniel O'Reilly who was one of our main central defenders last season left because he was he was just not good enough basically so I got rid of him. Same with Halliday, um, and then Shane Flynn and Brandon Barker just weren't good enough. Uh, Brandon Barker, sorry, Barker was um, a free transfer that we managed to make money on, so that was good. And then players in Daniel Barden and Dominic Bell. John Fleck, former Scotland international. That was a good signer. And then this player, Admiral Musqui from Luton. Another good pickup. And because Everaldo were left, we decided to get another Brazilian winger in. We got Fabinho. Not the Fabinho who plays for Liverpool, unfortunately. But yeah, he looks like a pretty good signer as well. So we got our first game of the season in the Premier Sports Cup. We did reasonably well in this in the group stage last time, so let's just see how it goes. It's a it's a fairly different team. We've got this gentleman here, Matthews 
Cavicioli. Cavic Low Cavicioli. Cavicioli. There you go. We've got Matthews Caviccioli. Uh, he was a free transfer last season. He, d he didn't play, but now he's our first team goalkeeper for now. But I think in the long run, we're going to have Daniel Barden as our main keeper. Um, and then we've got this gentleman here who joined last in, I think it was towards the end of last season, Collins Fay. He's right back for this game. We've got Warner in, who we've got on loan from Red Bull Salzburg. And then Sacco is in centre defence. Alioski is left back. We've got this player here, uh, Juan Pablo Zulaga, who we spoke about earlier. He's making his debut. Flex making his debut. There's a lot of debuts here. Uh, Hoyland, Ram Rasmus Hoyland's brother, I think, I assume. He's up front. Uh, we couldn't get Bruno Ribeiro back on loan. Sporting wanted him to go to play in a better league. So, uh, yeah, so let's just see how we get on whole new, literally a whole new team. I don't know if that'll be a good thing or a bad thing, but we'll see. But yeah, thank you as always for subscribing and watching. I appreciate it. Um, the last video, Rafe Rovers video I posted. Oh, that's not a good start, is it? Um, the last Rafe Rovers video had um, a few, quite a few views and quite a few people watching it. So I appreciate that. Thank you. But yeah, not the best of starts, is it? Conceding a free kick after and score, um, yeah, conceding the goal after five minutes. Oh, there they are. They're in again. Oh, luckily they missed. Uh, right, we got a free kick. That's good. Vaughn lines it up, crosses it. Fleck on it. Fleck with the cross. Get in. That was a great cross. Debut goal by Hoyland. That's what we like to see our two our two new signings linking up. <coughs> I think Lewis Lewis Vaughan, Sacco, and Aloski are the only players that were playing regularly in the team last season. So it's um it was needed. At the end of the day, we needed to completely uh, gut the squad out, basically, and start again. All right, we've got players knackered already after after forty five minutes, which is not ideal. Uh, we'll leave Lewis warm for now. Hopefully, the second half will be better for us. Um, thanks again for people who. Tuned in on Twitch to watch me Barcelona say. So much appreciated. I'll be back on uh, on Monday from 2pm. Ooh, get the post. That was our new player, Zulaga. Um, okay. All right, Vaughn, you're coming off. And we'll put on Matt Ritchie. Matt Ritchie hopefully will, who's quite good at crossing, hopefully he'll, you know, I can't get the words out to them, I'm so sorry. Hopefully he can lay it off to one of our players and get a goal for us. Fabino, there we go. Oh, I thought that was in there. Ritchie with the corner. Pretty good at, uh, at corners. There you go. That's, that's the reason why we put him on. Matt Ritchie with the assist. Beautiful corner by Hoyland. Gets his second goal of the game. All right, we break again. Fabino, little Brazilian, tricky little Brazilian winger. Uses his pace. Um, that was a bit selfish. I don't know why he was trying to do that. Hoyland should have been set up for his hat trick there. Right, in possession again. Hoyland. Beautiful. Osman. Ah, oh, hits the post. Bounces back into the keeper's hands. Right, Alevsky, you're not good. Gal Clichy can come on. Right. 
Oh god, here we go. Get that sinking feeling they're going to score from this. I'm so good at predicting my demise, aren't I? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. Right, we've got a throw in. Clichy. Fleck. Richie. Oh, Richie, it's the post. It would have been a great debut for him if he scored that. Do we have it in us to go on to win this game? Only time will tell. Can't, we can't take any more players off, so we've just got to... Probably just getting get... Oh, here we go. We might have a chance of getting a win here. Richie with another beautiful corner. Doesn't pay off like the last one, though. Osman to Sacco. What a surprise, Saka getting a book in. He loves to get he loves to get a card, he does. Clichy. Sacco. Zul Zuliaga. Bay. Bay with the ball still. There we go. John Fleck gets in. 3 2. That's what we want. We want to get a victory in our first game of the season. Sets us up nicely for the rest of the season, hopefully. I mean, I'm not getting too excited. I did well in the Premier Sports group stage last time, and then I had the worst season probably ever. I'm um, just trying to ask for the youth recruitment, and they are going to improve it. Um, now it's reached an excellent level, which is good. Oh, that's junior coaching, so that's even better. So we've got junior coaching and youth recruitment um, upgraded. So that's good. Right, we've got East Fife next game. <coughs> Me versus. <coughs> Sorry. Me versus Lelujo's team. What was that about, Cliche? So, uh, Cliche has broken a record for uh, Rafe Rover's oldest player. So that's good. I might break that even further by. Giving Miura some game time at some point this season just to break that record because I can never I can I can't see that record ever being broken if he if he plays. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay. Right, let's see how we get on. Not long now for our next game. Oh, sorry, I went too quick there, didn't I? Harry Arter has gone on loan to Hamilton and they're paying 10% of his wage, which is not good. Um, Bolde wanted to leave, so he's gone. Um, we are probably a bit short in defenders, I think. But unfortunately, the wage, I can't adjust the wage. I can't chuck any of the transfer budget into the wage budget. No. So, yeah. So, we've just got to hope that our director of football will bring in suitable players. How many scouts can we get? One. Uh... I know it's a Scottish league, but the the the, the coaching candidates here were not very good. Managed to sign this goalkeeper, Kelly Ruse. We we're a bit short on goalkeepers after we got rid of Dabrowski and um, Rowley, so we brought in Kelly Ruse. Hundred and forty K from Aberdeen. Can I can I chuck no, still can't do it. Right. Game coming up soon. There we go. 
game time coming up. He's five for currently second in the Premier Sports Group. Sorry about that. I didn't sleep well last night, so you will get. I'm not very good at editing, so you will just get yawns in here and coughs and stuff like that. So I do apologise. Right then. Rose in goal. Faye retained as right back. O'Connell in the centre defence with Warner. Alioski is left back. Ball and Zulago in the centre midfield. Kinder on the on the right. Dehander in the middle. Vaughan on the left. And Hoyland up front. Hoyland impressed me in the last game. He scored two, so hopefully he'll carry on. As much as I liked uh, Ribeiro last season, he didn't get as many goals as I thought he would. Hoyland getting two in his first game is very impressive. Hopefully that will continue. Right, Faye. Oh, there we go. Uh, action pack first half in the in the first five minutes. We get the ball now. Elowski, Warner, across the ball, ball, out what out across to Kinder. Kinder changes direction, passes it out wide to Vaughan. Vaughan now, will he shoot? Oh, miles over. Come on, Lewis, you can do better than that. Captain, fantastic, Lewis Vaughan, Mr. Rafe Rovers. Managed to sign him on a new two-year contract after he literally was on he was on the verge of leaving. Um, the only reason why we signed him, managed to sign him back, was because I retired the manager and come back as a new manager because he properly fell out with my old manager. He did not like me at all. So I'm hoping not to do this with the with this manager. I I don't know what that highlight was. Um, that was weird. Looked like we were going to get a free kick and then nothing happened. What a goal. Who is Vaughan? Mr. Rafe Rovers, Lewis Vaughan with the with the corner now. Oh, we get another one. Look at that. Lewis Vaughan's gone from uh, scoring to assisting in the space of four minutes. Look at that. They've got the pink shirts on as well. That's nice. Same shirt I'm wearing. I um I did get I'm not going to tell you the team that I got um I did get another mystery shirt just on the off chance in case I did decide to stop the Rafe Rovers save um so just to make sure I can have another save to start and um the company I use surprise shirts it's not their fault but because I picked the mystery shirt FM edition um and because I'm unfortunately a big size guy and also with football shirts I need a size bigger than I am, which makes it even harder for him, so I'm not having a go at them, but the shirt that it gave me, yeah, it was bright, because that's what I wanted, I wanted a bright shirt, but it was a bit boring, if I'm honest with you, so um, the team doesn't really excite me, I might do it as a save, I might not, so um, yeah, I, I think I'm going to leave the mystery shirts for a while, to be honest. Might just do a random team generator thing next time. 1-1. One, one. Oh no, 2-1, sorry, I forgot. Yeah. So yeah, but nothing against surprise shirts as it's as they explained to me because of the fact that I'm a 3XL or a, well, more likely a 4XL. Um, a lot of football shirts aren't made for a lot of football teams, no lower league football teams don't make shirts that big because it costs them more in, in making them. Um, especially like in a different country, for instance, because um, I did say I did say specifically not UK based, as I wanted to change. So they did give me what I wanted in a way, but I was just a bit maybe I think I was a bit unrealistic in what I was going to get. I wanted to get something really cool like um, these Lucha Libre inspired shirts that the Mexican teams wore. Them um, something just something that just looks unique and looks really cool. But yeah. But like I said, it's nothing. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't say don't buy a mystery shirt box from them, because they did say to me the fact that, that 
the, the other issue was is a lot of the teams aren't in countries that are available on Football Manager, even though I did explain to them that I have literally every country loaded possible because I download about a million editor files. So yeah, which they knew before, which they knew before they sent my shirt off. So I, that that's not a valid excuse as far as I'm concerned. But other than that, like I said, I've got no issues with them. They're very nice. Um, oh, nearly. Yeah, there we go. Yaddy Kinder gets his first goal. Yeah, but they were very nice, and uh, I do appreciate it. But yeah, like I said, I'll either go with a different mystery shirt company next time, or I just won't bother, and I'll just pick a random team uh, from a team generator. If anybody has any mystery shirt recommendations, uh, any like um, websites that you think are good, please leave a please leave a message in the comments box. Yeah, look at that. What a performance. 4-1. Mr. Rafe Rovers. I should have took some players off, but I was busy yapping away. Good performance for us. 4-1. There we go. Two wins now. Starting really well with this new manager. What they don't know, it's, a, it's the old manager in a different disguise. Right, we'll do this match, um, and then we'll we'll. Hold on, let me have a look. Actually, um, yeah, we'll probably do this match and then call it a day for this episode. I just accepted a really bad offer for that player. Then no, that was a really rubbish offer. We're not accepting that. See, again, the assistant manager candidates here. Oh, well, then he's pretty good. Yeah, he'll do. We need an improvement on the assistant manager, I think, that we've got. Let me just check. Sorry if you're the real-life assistant manager of Rafe Rovers. I do apologise, Gary McGabe. But, you know, you're not as good as Betsy, let's be honest. You've done well for us, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, we need an improvement. Oh, there's some shirt. There's the shirt I'm wearing. Yeah, also, I'm annoyed at surprise shirts because the shirt that I bought off them for £35, um, I saw on Classic Football Shirts for £19.99. So, um, yeah, like I said, I feel like I've been cheated. But I know this about mystery, shirt, mystery football shirts because I used to buy them a few years ago. Um, so I knew, I took the good with the bad, so I, I, that's what I do now. Um, I just class it as like not a business expense because I'm not making any money from this, but it's like it's it's a it's it's an expense for the sake of making good content. So hopefully, if I do start that save at some point on YouTube, hopefully people will like it. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to figure out whether I should have him in. Who do we replace him with? Owen Jess, maybe? Uh, yeah, I suppose Owen Jess will have to go. Right, Raymond Martinez out for two to three months. Not the best to sign in so far. We've got him out for two to three months. I hope that's not a consistent thing with him. Because if it is, he's gone. Right, Elgin City next. But yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this much, and then I'll call it a day for this episode, and then a uh, new episode will be out tomorrow, and we'll 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 do a lot more games tomorrow. Do I sign another player? Yeah, he looks like a good player. Oh, Maldini, Daniel Maldini. Uh, unfortunately, we haven't got the wage for you, mate. I'll add you to the shortlist, though. Actually, I can offer you a trial, can't I? If I offer you a trial, because uh, apparently, according to Lelujo, who I've been watching, in his East 5 save, he's come across a uh, an exploit for the Scottish Championship that you can basically 
play um, players on trial. So you can get players on trial. And then you can play them up to three games or something like that. So we might exploit that at some point. He's exploiting it really bad though. I'm not going to be as bad as him. Nah, he doesn't want to come to us now. Okay, right. Let's see how we get on against Elgin. So um, I think this is a pretty much unchanged team, maybe. Uh, Muskwe is on the left wing, but yes. Yeah, Lewis Vaughan's not playing this game. I assume he's getting rested. Or he might be knackered. Is he on? Oh no, he's on the subs bench. It's alright, we don't need to play him every game. We can rest him every so often. He's still the main man as far as I'm concerned. First highlight is us uh, goalkeeper saving it from across. And now can we break from this? Muskwe. Or is it Muskowee? I think it's Muskowee, sorry. Danda. I like the fact that there's literally just, we've got so many different uh, nationalities in the team. I just worry that if we do get promoted, that we're going to have to, I, I can't remember what the rules are for the Scottish Premiership. I, I just remember like teams like Hearts having so many foreign players, I think. So I don't think, it, I don't think they have strict squad registration, but I could be wrong. I assume that's different now. Fabino, Danda to Muscovy, Alioski. Good cross. Oh, that's unlucky. Let's see if we can win a game without Vaughan. There we go. That's a good start. Hoyland gets another goal. Third goal of the season for him. Showing his brother how it's done. Rasmus, are you watching? Right, I've got to throw in Alioski. Oh, is that a potential penalty? Oh no. Oh, it is. Here yeah, it is. Alioski lines it up. Will he score? We'll soon find out. He does get in. 2 0. We are destroying these, these teams in the uh, Premier Sports Club. Why can't we be like this in the league, though? Hey, to O'Connell. It would be good if we just get some really good team cohesion, um, team chemistry, and we start doing well in the league. Hoyland nearly gets another one. Hoyland's going to be really, really, um, really good striker in the Scottish Championship, I think. I mean, he's doing well so far. All right. They've got a cross, though. There we go, we get it back. No, it is Muskwe. It's not Muskie, Ewe. I uh, read it wrong earlier. Right, Fabino, the Brazilian winger. Bombs ahead. Oh, we got another penalty. Alioski again. Will he get a second goal? He does. 3 0. Look at this. Look at this new team. We're working very well. Faye's tired, though, so we're going to take you off. Have we got anyone to put on for you? Uh, Dominic Bell will have to do. Yeah, very good performance in this game so far. I wish we were playing the pink shirt though. It makes me feel better for having this shirt on. Oh, oh look at that. Another goal for Hoyland. Got two players on a potential hat trick here, and it's not even the, the first half's not even finished. Uh, Warner will need to come off in the second half, and uh, actually, Dandon needs to come off now. Uh, actually, we'll take Warner off. Oh, I don't know. Uh, well, we'll put Saka on. Hopefully, he doesn't get sent off. That would be nice. Right, 4 0 in the first half. Doing well. There we go. We're all over them. We're absolutely all over them. They haven't had a shot yet. Fabino blasts his shot over. Throw into us. Ball with the cross. Lofts it forward. O'Connell. There we go. Ball. 
Great little header. 5-0. Cruise into an easy victory here. I'm just going to praise the players. Right. We can't take any more players off, so I think next game we're going to rest some players. Oh, we got another penalty. Their defence is so bad when it comes to conceding penalties. Lewis Vaughan this time. Will he score? He does. Get in. Lewis Vaughan comes on from the on the subs bench. Uh, from the subs bench, sorry. And he gets the goal already. Mr. Rafe Rovers. Can Hoyland or Alioski get the hat-trick? Vaughan. Oh, my God. We've got another penalty. Unbelievable, Jeff. I'm going to have Vaughan here lining up. Get in. 7-0? Yeah, there you go. 7-0. We've got three players now on a potential hat-trick with 15 minutes to go. Will one of them score a hat-trick? Let's see. Uh, probably not, though. Oh, we never know. All right, goal kick to us. Sacco. Over the top ball. Fortunately, doesn't go to Hoyland. Alright, have we got any more highlights in this game? Have we got a chance of one of our players getting a hat trick? No. That's still good though. We're really happy. I'm really happy with that result. 7 0. That's going to be really good for the morale of the players. So yeah, that's really good. Really happy with that result. Let's just quickly check any news. Yep, we're going to praise you, Hoyland. Well done. Right then, on that note, I'll leave you to it and I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. Thanks for, you. Thanks for watching and all the best. Speak to you soon. Bye.